Hey, are you struggling to create blog content consistently? What if I told you there is a way to automate a lot of the writing process without compromising on content quality? Hi, I'm Jonathan Nunez, the CEO and co-founder of The Marketing Project. Over the years, I've created over 200 blog posts for our blog and clients using tools like Claude. And today, I'll teach you the exact same process we use for writing blog posts that actually rank. All right, let's dive into the first step, setting up your Claude project. Think of a project as your personal knowledge base that Claude can reference when creating content. Now, a quick note, projects are only available with professional and team plans, so make sure you upgrade to access this feature. There are three different sections you need to focus on. The first one is your general project description, which is a description you write to let users know what the model does and how to use it effectively. The second section is your project knowledge which is the area where you store all the documents Claude will reference every time you start a new chat. This information is crucial because it will let Claude know the tone of voice it should use, examples you've previously shared, and the structure it should follow when creating new content. And the third section is custom instructions. These are commands Claude uses to know how to behave and respond in all the chats within your project and they are very useful because it makes it so you don't have to write the same thing over and over again. For example, you can write your target audience, the tone of voice it should use, and other specific prompts you want to give Claude. With that said, here's what you need to do to set up a project. Start by going to the top left menu and clicking Projects, then select Create Project at the top right side of the screen. Next, type your project name and description, and your project name should be something straightforward like create blog posts. And your description should ideally be instructions users will use to know how to effectively prompt Claude. Now, don't worry about making mistakes. This is mainly for internal use, and you can always edit it later. Then upload some of your existing blog content. This gives Claude a clear sense of your writing style. So make sure to include examples of high-performing content you want to replicate. I use Google Docs to collaborate and create blog content, so I just download the files as PDFs and upload them to Claude. After that, add custom instructions about your brand voice, preferences, and any specific guidance for Claude. Use my custom instructions as reference to come up with your own. And one last but very important note, Every piece of content you upload has to be written by you or a professional writer. Avoid using AI to write them. Now, remember that the quality of Cloud's output depends on the quality of the data it's trained on. So the more high quality original content you upload, the better. And again, write the first content yourself. This is the most important part of the process, so take the time to properly set it up. Hey, before we continue, do me a favor. If you're finding this information useful, hit the like button. It helps us reach and help more people like you. And subscribe for more blogging and content repurposing content just like this one. Now let's go back to the video. All right, once your project is ready, the next step is research and creating an outline for your blog post. Now this part is key, so don't skip it. Proper research helps you see what's already ranking, spot any gaps in the content you can fill, point out search intent, find out what questions your audience is asking, and organize your content in a way that makes sense and flows well. So take your time here. The more through your research and outline, the better your final post will be. And when you're done with your outline, add some specific instructions for Claude. These are the commands that will guide it on how to tackle the topic. Here's an example of an outline we wrote. Use it as reference for crafting your own. Okay, the next step is getting Claude to actually write the post. Here's how to do it effectively. First, upload your research and outline. And if you're using Google Docs, just download it as a PDF and upload it into a new chat. Then be specific about what you want. Tell Claude you want to write a blog post about, and then mention the topic. Uh, mention your wrote a blog post outline. Say, is the PDF attached to the message you're writing? and just tell it to use that outline to write your blog post. And lastly, tell it who your target audience is. And that's pretty much it. Claude will analyze all the documents in your project and the information in your outline to craft your posts. Now, when you get your first draft from Claude, don't just polish it right away. 
copy your content to a Google document and look for areas that need more details or examples, uh, opportunities to add personal experiences or unique insights, spots where you can throw in some statistics to back things up, uh, sections that could use images or screenshots, and most importantly, ways to make the content more concise so it reads well. Now, honestly, most of the drafts Cloud produces are fine as is, so I don't have to modify them much. But it really depends on the quality of the outline and the prompts you write. So if the output isn't great the first time, just tweak the outline and try it again. But do it in a new chat, otherwise Claude will have to analyze the entire conversation and it's possible you will go through all your usage limits. Now, if that happens, you'll have to wait around five hours to start again. I haven't hit that limit myself, but it's something to keep in mind. Okay, once you've edited your first draft, it's time to get a second opinion. Send it over to an editor or a colleague for review. After spending so much time on it, it's very easy to miss little things. Having a fresh set of eyes on your content can make a big difference. Now, if you don't have anyone else to review your content, don't worry, just take a one or two day break and then come back to it with fresh eyes. Trust me, you'll spot things you missed before. All right, once you've gathered feedback, Polish your final draft. This is your chance to add new insights or ideas you've thought of since the first draft, insert internal links to other relevant content on your site, add UTM parameters to track clicks, make sure your ideas flow naturally, and double check your formatting. And as soon as you finish your final draft, you're ready to schedule or publish your blog post. Just make sure to set the publishing date that works with your content calendar, preview the post to check formatting is on point, test all the links and UTM parameters to be sure they're working, and double check that all images are loading correctly. And that's it. Grab a beer or a tea or whatever you're into and do it all over again. Look, there are many ways to create blog posts with AI, but this is the process that works best for us for quickly coming up with new blog content without compromising on quality. Just remember that the goal isn't just to publish content, it's to publish content that genuinely helps your audience and ranks in search engines. So follow this process, it will help you do both. And since you're thinking about creating blog content consistently, watch this video right here. We go over why your blog isn't getting any traffic and how to fix it. I'm sure you'll find it useful. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.